and there my chain is 7 inches long and I have chained 14. I'm going to turn and start working down the chain. I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. To make a single crochet you insert the hook through the stitch and pull the yarn through. Now you have two loops on your hook. You pick up the yarn and you pull it through those two loops and that's a single crochet. So insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through pick up the yarn and pull it through the two stitches. Single crochet all the way down the chain. If you need further instructions on how to crochet, please check out my video, Learn to Crochet. The link will be in the text below this video. Okay, now I have gone right to the end of my chain. Chain one and turn. To make this cosmetic bag, we're going to use the ribbing stitch, just as we did to make the leg warmers and the crocheted bag. So we're going to single crochet in every stitch across the row, working in the back side of the stitch only. I'm going to continue across the row. Every row in this cosmetic bag will be worked the same way. It will be chain one and turn, single crochet in every stitch across the row working in the back side of the stitch only. So here I have completed another row. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. In crochet you don't work into this stitch because when I make my next stitch that chain one is going to lay down flat and it's going to take the place of this first single crochet. So we're going to single crochet into the second stitch and we're going to single crochet in every stitch across the row. Continue in this manner to make as many rows as you need for your cosmetic bag. And I've completed another row. If you made my handbag, then this is exactly the same way as making the handbag on a smaller scale. So I'm going to continue off camera to make as many rows as I need for this cosmetic bag and then I'll come back and show you. When your rectangle is long enough, then you can fasten off. Now you have a choice. You can either just fold your cosmetic bag like this and sew a zipper across the top, or you can make a mini version of the crocheted handbag where you fold it over and have an overlap flap like this. To fasten off, you simply cut your yarn and pull it through the last stitch on the hook. And there's your rectangle. close your bag. You can either take a yarn needle and yarn and sew it up or you can slip stitch it closed which will give you a more professional look. And now slip stitching is simply a chain stitch but you're just going to go through both sides of the bag. So you have your hook passed through both sides of the bag and you pick up the yarn and you pull it through like that. You just match your stitches all down the side and you slip stitch to join. You close up the side of the bag. Fasten off. And we're going to slip stitch to join this side as well. Pass it through the base of several stitches of the work. Go in one direction, then come back in the opposite direction, and then cut off the yarn.
to line your bag, fold a piece of fabric so that the fold is in the same position as the bottom of your bag. This could be an old t-shirt or any kind of fabric. So you're going to extend the fabric a little bit past the bag on that side and you're going to cut your fabric so that it's extended past the bag on this side. And I folded my fabric so that the end is slightly higher because I want to be able to fold that down. It's slightly higher than the top of the bag. So now I can just cut across along the same line as the top of this fabric. So there's my lining for the bag. So I'm just going to sew up these two seams. If you have a sewing machine, you can do it on the sewing machine. I'm just going to do it with a needle and thread just to show you that. Okay, I've gone ahead and just made a simple seam down both sides of the lining. Now you're just going to take the lining and you're going to slide it into the cosmetic bag. Tuck the corners of the fabric into the corners of the bag. Like that. Now fold down the fabric so that it's even with the top of the bag. Like that. You pinned it all the way around. With a needle and thread, sew your lining to your bag. And there's your bag with the lining sewn in. Sew a zipper in the top of your bag. Pin your zipper to the top of your bag. It's not necessary to have a flap, but this is how the flap will fit. To have a cosmetic bag without the flap, you're just going to have folded your rectangle in half and slip stitched the two sides and then pin your zipper to the top of the bag. Pin the zipper so that these two sections extend outward past the bag. Then you can tack the ends on the inside. If your zipper is too long, you can push it to the inside and just tack it down with a few stitches. Add a little tassel to your zipper pull by passing a few strands of yarn through and tying them into a square knot. With a needle and thread, sew your zipper at the top of your bag. Like that. Take a hair elastic and fold it in half. Pass that through the center stitch of your bag and pull it through. And this will form a buttonhole. Sew a button on the bag. And this is optional. You can make one of my coiled flowers and sew it right here on the top of the flap and that will cover up your buttonhole and you'll still be able to button and unbutton it underneath. Optional. You can chain a cord of 20 stitches and attach it to one end of your cosmetic bag. 